a comet, even brighter than Hellbop and Neowise, is on its way to us. When this new comet reaches its closest point to the Sun, it will then change direction and come towards us. Its brightness will dwarf that of the brightest stars, and even Venus and Jupiter, which are normally among the brightest celestial bodies visible from Earth, will be outshone by the splendor of the comet for weeks. Astronomers in Africa were amazed when they first discovered a new comet on February 22, 2023. The newly discovered visitor from far beyond the boundaries of our solar system was so striking and bright that it quickly became clear that this comet would deliver a once-in-a-century show. The discoverers, who use the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, or ATLAS for short, in South Africa, scanned the sky in search of very special objects. Facilities like ATLAS are in operation around the clock to warn us of asteroids and comets. These celestial bodies can unfold fantastic spectacles, but they can also be dangerous to us. Fortunately, the new visitor, which only flies towards the Sun about once every 22,000 years, was quickly classified as harmless. Facilities like the Atlas system not only scan the sky, but also calculate the predicted flight paths of all newly discovered celestial bodies at lightning speed. This calculation quickly showed that the new comet had taken a course that would take it close to the Sun and far enough away from us. Shortly after the discovery was officially announced, Chinese researchers came forward. They had also noticed the comet. The double discovery was made with the Suchinchan Astronomical Observatory, and the comet was therefore given the memorable double name Suchinchan Atlas. The full name of this once-in-a-century comet is even longer. It is officially designated as C-2023 A3 Suchinchan Atlas. The C stands for a non-periodic comet. The year 2023 marks the year of discovery, and A3 indicates the order of the discoveries in January of that year. In the case of Suchinchan Atlas, the word non-periodic means that it will probably only come close to Earth once. Then, it will either never return, or it will take so long that such an extreme period of time will pass that we can't even be sure that we humans will still exist at the time of its return. What pulls comets into the sun? Who would have thought that a comet could melt just like that? Imagine that the sun actually has the power to break up a huge comet into nothing more than water and gas in no time at all. If a comet comes too close to the sun, that's exactly what happens. The heat of the sun evaporates even a kilometer-wide comet. In reality, however, this spectacle rarely occurs. Comets usually approach the sun lose some mass with each flyby and can thus make their rounds for millions of years. Comets come from the Oort cloud, a collection of lumps of rock and ice that lies far beyond the boundaries of our solar system. Scientists are investigating the circumstances that cause individual comets to break away from this throng of hundreds of thousands of frozen icy objects and then set a course directly towards the sun. It is thought that complicated gravitational interactions are what drive the comets out of the Oort cloud. You have to imagine the Oort cloud as a perfectly orchestrated interplay of many individual objects. None of the more than 100,000 chunks, ranging from small stones to gigantic comets, are there for no reason. The objects are attracted and bound by forces, only a small part of which we understand so far. Electromagnetic forces act between all objects in the solar system. Whether planet, star, comet, or asteroid, all participate in the game of gravity, that mysterious force that holds the whole universe together and determines the interplay between the celestial bodies. However, it remains a mystery to this day which mechanisms exactly cause individual comets to be suddenly attracted by a star like the Sun. Compared to the gigantic size of a star, a comet is tiny. It is practically a crumb. So what causes these cosmic crumbs to break away from the distant collection of objects and then fly towards the sun? We don't know. Even our best scientists cannot explain why this happens. What we do know, however, is how comets behave on their fantastic flights into the interior of the solar system. The closer they get to the sun, the more spectacular their appearance becomes. 
Since ancient times, comets have been regarded as special messengers on Earth. They brought people luck or announced great events. The comet that is now approaching Earth will have such an unusual appearance that scientists are already mentioning it in the same breath as great names like Hellbop or Neowise. Experience the most dazzling comet light show live. Who among you still remembers Hellbop, the incredible comet that could be seen with the naked eye for weeks in 1997? Hellbop was a once in a century comet with a pronounced tail, a fantastic light show, and it was even so bright that it could be seen with the naked eye at dusk. Will Suchin Chan Atlas also give us such a spectacle? We hope so. Hellbop is already in the distant past. It's time for us to experience a new super comet. Suchin Chan Atlas is expected to reach its closest point to the Sun, the so called perihelion, on September 27, 2024. However, perihelion is not the moment when we can see the comet best. The actual celestial spectacle will only begin in October 2024, when it approaches the Earth. Initial forecasts show that Suchin Chan Atlas will at least match the luminosity of Neowise, the comet that enchanted humanity in 2020. During perihelion on September 27, 2024, the comet will pass the Sun at the level of Mercury, and when it subsequently rushes towards us at about 70 kilometers per second, the comet will become increasingly brighter. Due to its proximity to the Sun, the comet releases more and more dust, ice, and gases, which gives the ice chunk its impressive color, luminosity, and magnificent tail. The comet's luminosity is then further enhanced by another effect that astronomers call forward scattering. This effect occurs when the comet is illuminated from behind by the Sun. As Suchin Chan Atlas turns its back on the Sun and heads towards the Earth, the sun's rays will hit the back of the comet. The dust and ice crystals will reflect the light and scatter it towards the observers, that is, towards us. Scientists expect Suchin Chan Atlas to reach a brightness of about 0.7 magnitude. By comparison, Hellbop reached a magnitude of negative 1.0, and Neowise, the comet visible in 2020, reached a brightness of 0.5. So, we can look forward to a spectacular sight that will probably thrill us throughout October. Suchin Chan Atlas could appear in bright green, white, or even yellowish tones. The color of the comet is determined by the composition of the released gases and dust particles. For example, if cyan or carbon is present in the gas, the comet may glow in green tones, while yellowish or white colors are created by dust and reflected sunlight. The specific composition and interaction with solar radiation ultimately determine which colors we see in the night sky. This lump could cause us serious problems. Experts estimate Suchin Chan Atlas to be a rather small comet. It measures just about one kilometer in diameter. And although this comet is rather small, it could cause us on Earth a lot of trouble if it were to come on a collision course with us. A comet of this size could devastate half a continent and plunge the Earth into a global climate catastrophe. The thought that this chunk is hurtling towards us at an incredible 70 kilometers per second can make you feel a little queasy. But we're in luck. Scientists are fairly certain that Sushin Chan Atlas will not collide with Earth. If this comet were on a collision course, Sushin Chan Atlas would have the potential to wipe out a city the size of New York or Beijing. Comets are mostly frozen water and some dust, but as projectiles entering the Earth's atmosphere at incredible speeds, comets are just as dangerous as asteroids, which are composed of solid rock and metals. Comet impacts on Earth are rare but devastating. The most famous impact in Earth's history occurred about 66 million years ago and is thought to have caused the extinction of the dinosaurs. The Chicxulub impact, which is visible today as an impact crater on the coast of the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico, is interpreted by many scientists as a comet. The impact released an unimaginable amount of energy, triggered global fires, and led to a drastic drop in temperature, which wiped out much of life on Earth. Comet or asteroid impacts have also occurred more recently. The Tunguska event in 1908 is an example of a celestial body, probably a comet, exploding in the Earth's atmosphere, devastating over 2,000 square kilometers of forest in Siberia. 
The explosion was so powerful that it released an estimated 15 megatons of energy, which is equivalent to about 1,000 Hiroshima bombs. Fortunately, this incident occurred in an uninhabited area, but the destructive power shows how dangerous an impact in populated areas could be. Another well-known event is the Chelyabinsk meteor in 2013, which did not hit the Earth but exploded in the Russian city of Chelyabinsk. The shockwave shattered windows and injured about 1,500 people. This event showed that even smaller celestial bodies that hit the Earth at high speed can cause significant damage. Comet impacts are rare, but the potential consequences are catastrophic. Scientists around the world are therefore working to detect celestial bodies such as comets and asteroids early on and to calculate their orbits in order to prevent possible collisions. Research has shown that comets and asteroids are direct remnants from the time when the solar system was just emerging. When our solar system was still a glowing ball of hot gas, rock particles formed around it, which we now call asteroids. At the same time, ice and water formations emerged, which we now know as comets. Many researchers therefore believe that comets are the actual messengers of water in our solar system. It's possible that life on Earth also came with them, it's a fascinating notion that the water that shapes our planet today and is also present in our bodies is more than 4 billion years old and dates back to the beginnings of the solar system. Click on the subscribe button now and be there for every new video.